The chords are uh, very simple. There's four chords in the entire song. We're gonna start out with the A major. Then it goes to E major. F sharp minor to a D. And the next change immediately following that is just A, E to D. So you skip that F sharp minor um, on the second part of that uh, rhythm. And the whole song just repeats that over and over again. So for you beginners out there, here is the uh, best way that I could recommend that you play these chords. Starting with the A, the first string is open. Second string on the second fret with the ring finger. Third string, second fret with the middle finger. Fourth string, second fret with the index. All right, and you wanna stand those fingers up on their tips so that they're not interfering with the other strings and that way you could strum all five strings and get all the notes to ring out properly. Next you switch to the E major, which is gonna be the first and second strings open. Third string, first fret with the index. Fourth string, second fret with the ring finger. Fifth string, second fret with the middle finger and the sixth string is open. All right, so we got A to E. Remember the first time around it plays that F sharp minor. And this is gonna be a bar chord across the index finger across the second fret. All right, and basically the uh, fingerings that you're going to use, the first string is the second fret, second string, second fret, third string, second fret. The fourth string, fourth fret with the pinky, fifth string, fourth fret with the ring. Middle finger is not used, and then you'll play the second fret, which is already barred with the index finger on that finger bar. So there is your F sharp minor, A to E, F sharp minor, and then D. And the D, first string, second fret with the index, second string, third fret with the ring, third string, second fret with the middle, fourth string is open. All right, now that is the first half of the rhythm. A, B, F sharp minor, D. The second half, as I said before, is A, E to D. So you're gonna hold that D twice as long. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, in a way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. All right, and so also that intro that I throw in there. Um, that's similar to the Darius Rucker version. It comes, it just follows the chord. So coming off that A chord, the main riff or the intro riff that I play is the fifth string open. And then again, second fret with the ring finger, slide up to the fourth fret, go to the fourth string, second fret, and then the sixth string open. Next is the, so that follows the chords A and then E. And next is gonna be the F sharp minor. And then the D. So for that riff, I play that F sharp note on the sixth string. Slide again from the fifth string second fret to the four. To the fourth string second fret. And then the open D note on the fourth string. I'll play it again slow for you. And then you could also play it along with the chords to spice things up a little bit. So that's it for this lesson. If you need a little bit of help, if you need a little bit more help with chords, check out my Easy Guitar Chords DVD that I put out a while back. If you're a complete beginner, check out my Easy Acoustic Guitar DVD. For all of my books and DVDs, visit my website, marcococona.com. You could also keep in touch with me there, find out where I'm performing at. I play almost every single day. And uh, as far as this lesson goes, questions, 
and comments below, and I'll uh, answer them as soon as I see them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Oh, and by the way, a plug for my buddy Sean Iverman, who sent me this very cool solo station stool that I'm sitting on. If you notice, anywhere I turn, the microphone is attached to the stool. It also acts as a, uh, a gig hauler. You could put a lot of your equipment on it and uh, pull it into your shows with you. It has a guitar stand built in, and uh, it's also for sale on MarcoCoconut.com, so you can get more information about the solo station invented by my good friend Sean Iverman right on MarcoCoconut.com.